Have you always wanted to play piano, but you've been too afraid? Don't be chicken. Hi, I'm Dana, and this is Dana's Music News. So this past week, we were at my daughter's house to celebrate my grandson's birthday. As you can see, they have, they're on a great piece of property, a little over two acres, so it's just a great place for the kids to run around, have a good time, and then of course there's the chickens. And then if you head into my daughter's chicken coop, you can see that they also have a couple of bunnies. But right now, it's time to collect some eggs. It's funny because my daughter told me they have all these boxes that, and just lots of room for the chickens to lay eggs, but they all just pick this one spot. And so uh, you can see this chicken over in the corner and that's the spot. You can see a chicken waiting for her turn and um, it's just funny when they have all this room. Right here you can see one of their three dogs. His name is Caesar and he actually protects the chickens from raccoons or hawks or anything that might pose them danger. Hey guys, welcome back to my music room and for lesson 17. Gosh, I can hardly believe it. Where does time go, right? <laughs> but we're gonna start with some warm-ups and then I have some uh, really fun songs for us to try on the piano. So let's get started. Okay, starting with our warm up today, um, I just wanted to show you some different ways to do your scales uh, because it might just get kind of old playing it the same old way. And if we consider that quarter notes, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you could um, hold your C a little longer. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one. So then we have a quarter note with some eighth notes. You could also make each one staccato. Or staccato going up and legato coming back down. Another thing you can do is, is bring in some dynamics and we could do um, a crescendo going up and a diminuendo coming back down. So there you go. And then also when you're doing your warm ups, don't forget about your progressions and your inversions. Now I just did all of those as blocked chords, but you can also do broken chords when you're doing that. And then just remember some other techniques during your warm up. You can also uh, practice your chromatic scale. So if you haven't learned that yet, you may want to just uh, go back and find the lesson where I taught um, each scale. Starting in lesson one, we learned the C scale. Lesson two, we learned the G scale. Lesson three, the D scale, and so on. And then I taught, at some point, I taught the chromatic scale. So uh, just be sure, add that into your routine, your habits of sitting down and doing warm-ups because this is really going to help uh, the dexterity of your fingers with anything that you want to play. Now the next thing I wanted to teach you today is how to play double scales. So uh, we'll take your C scale first. Now instead of playing your pinky, do a thumb under and then just start all over again. Two, three, thumb under. 
Now coming down, do a three, two, one, four, two, one, three, two, one. Okay, and then with our D, remember your D scale has an F sharp and a C sharp. All right, so for our fingering, one, two, three, thumb under, thumb under, third finger over, fourth finger over, third finger. Try it with E. So this one's a little harder. We've got an F sharp, G sharp, C sharp, D sharp. Instead of your pinky, do a thumb under and start all over. Three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. So try those with all of your scales. Okay, you ready? Remember, you're going to yeah. go E, I, E, I, O. Okay, here we go. Give me this finger. Actually, you can do it up high. Ready? With a up, up here, a up, up there. Give me your finger. Ready? There a bark, there a bark, everywhere a bark, bark. Y'all ready to finish it out? Oh, McDonald had a farm. Go ahead. E-I-E-I-O. Okay, I thought it might be fun to show y'all how to do a little playing by ear. So if that's something that interests you of being able to hear something that you want to learn how to play and to try to pick it out on the piano. Um, and I can also show you how your chord progressions will come into play for that. Let's see. Brighter in here. That's better. All right. So the song I picked out to do uh, this with is Wide Open Spaces for two reasons. Because we were just at my daughter's farm and she's got a lot of wide open spaces. Great place for the kids to play. Also, it was written by the chicks formerly known as Dixie Chicks. <laughs> but I'm going to show you how I do this. So I pulled up this song here. Okay, so that first little part, and it, it might take you a little while to figure out what that first note is. It's this one. You know, you can kind of play around, keep playing that back until you hear it. So that's that first little part. And what I always try to do is figure out what key this piece is in. So let's play a little bit more of it. until we get to the melody here. Okay, so that very first part. Now this took me a little while to figure out because if it doesn't come naturally to play by ear, you gotta kind of figure it out a little bit, but that first part starts on a B. And so remember we talked about um, what's, what uh, key songs are in. Normally it's going to start on the key that it's in. And so sure enough, this song is in the key of B. So let's run through our B scale. So there you go. That's that first little part. So see how we're right here in, so far she's just hitting, they're hitting a B and E, and that C sharp. So if you know that, then when I taught you about your chord progressions, whatever key you're in, those three main chords in that are going to be your first tone, your fourth tone, and your fifth tone. So that's going to be our main chord, your B, your E, your F sharp. And so that's what we're going to do with our left hand. 
is the E, F sharp, and the B. chord progressions you can kind of play around with that with your melody too so let's look at the little chorus of this song okay so that's the main part of it wide open spaces Well, let's, let's take that second chord. So there's that. So see what I mean how you can, you can embellish by using all parts of that chord. And so we hit our left. It's either going to be the E, the F sharp, or the B. So you can just kind of play around with it. to show you a little bit of how I try to work that out and play by ear, even though that wasn't a God-given gift to me. Mine is to read music, but I do love trying to play by ear, and the more you work at it, the better you'll get at it. Okay, with my chicken theme going this week, I figured a perfect song to teach y'all would be the chicken dance song. So we're going to do it in the key of C. So our chords, and actually there's only going to be two chords we're going to use with the left hand, the C chord. And then um, starting off, we're just going to do a G chord that's inverted. So just these two. But let's look at the melody with your right hand. So we're going to start on G. And then you're going to repeat that. The next part goes. All right, so let's put that with our left hand C chord. So I would hit the C chord first. Now when you hit this B, that's when you're gonna to change to your G chord. Okay, so let's try that again. I did that two ways. You can either just hold on to that chord or you can play it, you know, and I did, which would be like playing it at the start of each measure. Okay, one more time. Change. Okay, here's our next part. go back to the beginning again but let's put all of that together You can try that, have fun with it, and now let's head back to the farm for an actual little chicken dance. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
that concludes our lesson today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll join me back next Monday for our next lesson. Thanks for watching. Bye.